My name is Professor Darch and I'm a biochemist and physiologist. Um, I'm working for more than 30 years in the field of experimental animal-free cell culture models which want to predict effects on the complete organism uh, but without using experimental animals. Um, I'm the chief of a private scientific company and uh, we are working in a variety of fields containing pharmaceutical industry or food supplement industry but also tobacco industry for looking on toxicological features. According to the provider, um, the key shield is able to protect against all kinds of radiation. We conducted a study in which we tried to see if the key shield is able to protect against an, the radiation of an active mobile phone. Um, we used as a test assay the uh, cell regeneration process or wound healing process um, of the cells uh, which we used in our cell culture systems. We used connective tissue fibroblasts for our study. The cells were seeded in a cell culture flask which uh, contained a silicon frame which does not allow that the cells attaching and the growing beneath. In that way we produced um, a cell-free space in which the cells could migrate and proliferate later on. This is the kind of cell regeneration or wound healing model which we used in the test. Moreover, the uh, silicon frames were, um, were taken away when the cells have become dense and uh, the cells were then uh, exposed for two hours to a mobile phone radiation. Afterwards, the cells were transferred to a cell, normal cell culture incubator for another 22 hours to allow the cells to react on this kind of traumatization. We used cultured connective tissue fibroblasts for a simulation of the wound healing process. The cells were exposed to the radiation of an active mobile phone for two hours. One assay together with the key shield and the other assay without the key shield. Afterwards, the cells were incubated for another 22 hours in the cell culture incubated, were then fixed, stained, and the space of the remaining wound edge was measured. In addition to the quantification of the results of the fixed cells, we also used the time-lapse video system to demonstrate the dynamic process of wound healing with mobile phone radiation and key shield and without the protection of key shield. In comparison to a completely untreated control culture, the cells which have not been protected by a key shield um, showed um, that the migratory activity was delayed very much, that the proliferative activity was also delayed uh, and the final result was that the cell-free space was not recolonized again. Um, the completely different picture could be seen when the key shield was used for protection of the cells. In this case um, the wound healing process, that means the migratory and proliferative activity of the cells, was quite normal and there was not a big difference in comparison to the completely untreated control. The present study has shown that the cell regeneration process is largely delayed by the active mobile phone radiation. To our surprise, when using the key shield to have a protection during this exposure process, uh, we could show that the, um, the wound healing process is nearly the same as for an unexposed control. 
For us, this means that the key shield is able to protect against the mobile phone radiation. And from this point of view, we can highly recommend this system.